Hello everybody and welcome to part 6. In this part we're going to look at adding a sound effect to the game, okay? We don't have any sound so far, so we're going to add a single sound effect just to spice things up a bit. When we destroy an enemy, we're going to make a little noise, okay? It's a sound I recorded myself, it's absolutely amazing. It's literally just me going and uh, that's the noise we're going to use when the enemies get destroyed. Uh, so in order to do that, um, first of all I'm going to have to actually add a sound resource. So right click in sounds and hit create. Okay, just the same way as we create any resource. And I'm going to call it SND underscore death, which is quite morbid, but that's the that's the appropriate name, that's when our enemies get destroyed. So that's the name of the sound, and then we want to actually import the sound. So click uh, the little triple dot icon here to choose an actual sound file. I'm just going to go to tutorial resources, sound, and pick death.wav. That's the noise I'm going to use, and we can hear it here. That's it, that's literally it. I recorded that myself with my mouth just going, that's whatever. You can use whatever sound effect you want. Uh, if you want to use my silly voice, go ahead. Um, so that's the sound. Um, there's a bunch of other options in here for controlling how it's compressed and so on, but we don't need to worry about any of that just now, all the defaults will be fine. So go ahead and close that. Now to actually get it to play in the game, we want to come to our enemy object. If, uh, I've already got it open, but just double click on obj underscore enemy and come to the step event. And just down here where we destroy uh, the enemy, uh, when we change the player's score and we destroy the object, uh, just in between here, we want to play a sound. So scroll in the toolbox for D&D &D down to audio and find play audio. It's just this one right here. Just drag that in between these nodes and simply click uh, the drag down box here and select uh, SND underscore death. And there you have it. That will play the sound. So if I run the game now, uh, we'll hopefully see as I destroy each one of these enemies. Pew, 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 it plays our daft little sound effect. Now you don't want to get um, you don't want to make your sounds way too repetitive. Like it's always going to play that exact sound every time we destroy an enemy. And destroying enemies is largely what this game is about. Um, so we don't want to play that exact sound every time. Now rather than record lots and lots of different variants of that sound, we can invoke a, a cute little trick just to add a bit of variety and just vary the pitch by which we play this particular sound so we can make it play a bit higher or a bit lower pitched just randomly just so it doesn't sound like the exact same noise playing every time which can get on your nerves quite quickly so find where it's set audio pitch and you set the sound uh, set the pitch of a sound effect or a music track and just drag that before we play the actual sound okay and that will change the pitch of that sound for the next time that it gets played, and well, for every time it gets played until you change the pitch again, okay? So select the sound we want to modify, that's SND underscore death, click that, and where it says pitch here, you see it's set to 1, 1 is the default, so 1 is a regular pitch, so if we want to lower the pitch, we would want to make it something like 0.5, and if we want to raise the pitch, we would make it something like 2 to like double it, and so on, it works like that. Uh, what we want to do is randomize it. So what I'm going to do is instead of typing a number, I'm going to type random underscore range. Okay, and you can see that function comes up in order complete, and it shows you how it works there. It takes uh, two values, an x1 and an x2, um, and it basically returns a number in between those values randomly. Okay, so open bracket and put 0.8 as the lowest value and 1.2 as the highest value okay so it'll return a random number between 0.8 and 1.2 so sometimes the sound will play with a little bit of a lower pitch and sometimes it'll play with a slightly higher pitch and now if I run the game we should find as I destroy these hopefully it gives us So you can see there's a bit more variety in there. There's some, you know, pew, 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 and it just sort of changes it around a bit and uh, just makes it less overall repetitive. So I'll run that one more time just so you can, and uh, I'll shut up while it's happening so you can hear the difference. So there you go. And it's just a really simple way to add a bit of variety into playing sound effects. Uh, that's all there is for this part. That's how you play audio in your game, and that's how you mix it up a little when you do so. And uh, catch us on the next part. We'll be looking at adding a title screen to the game. See you guys then.